So on a car, tires are the only thing that is actually in the ground and you've got to trust them, right? Well, how much is that trust worth to you? Recently, I spent just over a thousand pound on Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires for my car. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why I did it and whether it was worth it. My name's Jack, this is Life in Motion, let's go. So yes, why would you spend a thousand pound on tires? Well, it's very simple. I love driving, like probably most of you. And let's be honest, if you skimp on tires, you're not gonna have a very good time. Tires make a massive difference. Now, I'm, I'm sure other people will say it, doesn't, it matters how the car's set up and how well the car's you know, balanced, and it, it absolutely does matter. But when you come down to it, regardless of how good the car is, this Cayman, for example, is a brilliant chassis, unbelievably good steps handling sports car. But if you haven't got the tires to match, doesn't matter. And before I changed the tires, I had Pirelli P0s, which are a very good tire. However, I, on my last Cayman, changed them to Michelin. So I did think they made an improvement. But I didn't think they made a huge difference, but I thought they were better. So when I got a issue with one of my tires where it was cut to the cord, you could see the cord on it. I had to replace it because I have an MOT soon. I thought, you know what? This is the time to get the full set. Now I'm stuck behind some cyclists and obviously in the Pirellis, I would have had a huge amount of faith that they would have probably got round them. Now it's slightly wet, but in these, they're just so much Oh, they're so well planted, these tyres. Now, it is quite damp today, they're not that warm, but in the Pirellis, when I had them, they were just a little bit loose. They weren't, they weren't as, oh, they didn't give me much confidence, should I say. Whereas these tyres, these Michelins, just give you that sense that you are never gonna unstick. So one factor I've really found is comfort. The Pirellis were good, but in the Cayman, because the Cayman's quite thin, all the glass is thin and the sound dampening is not you know, massively effective. Uh, you can hear a lot of road noise when you go over bumps, you can hear a lot of you know, clangs and, and you know, pothole type things. So one big thing is the Michelins, going over some rough stuff now, are so much more forgiving. They give a sense of that kind of just a little bit of softness on it that is really, really nice. The Pirelli was good, but these are just that next, that next level. They are just a little bit better. So I'm just driving through town now and I'm gonna go over some potholes. Yeah, these speed bumps really aren't gonna be great on anything. But what it does is when you hit the speed bump, like that, the Michelins just give you a little bit less kind of twang, like connection with it. On the Michelins, they were, on the, on the Pirelli, sorry, they were a bit more like boom, and then you kind of went over it. Whereas these, they just kind of more like, they kind of roll almost a little bit more easily over the bumps. And I, I think obviously it's down to kind of, it just feels a bit more comfortable, but it just takes that initial kind of shock of hitting the speed bump out of it. And obviously, being a sports car, you want it to be, oh, in the neck. I, this car is so good. If you want to have a look at some other videos I've done on this car, uh, make sure to have a look on the uh, links below. I'll pop some bits below and on the screen. Uh, have a look. I've done a review. I've done how this car sounds. Just enjoy that. But, oh, it sounds so good. And these Michelins are so grippy. They give you exactly what you need. Oh, just coming out of this turning, foot to the floor. Yeah, there's just, there's no sense that this car is gonna slip. Oh, change down. Ah, oh, this car just screams to be revved. It is, one of those things that just wants to go fast. Around this corner, these mitts are just so much grip. And again, it's damp today and it's pretty cold, but they don't care. 
Come on! Ah. Oh. Now, obviously, I've got to understand that my old Pirellis were old, and these are brand new, so they're going to be naturally grippy because of that. But just to let you know, the old tyres pretty much had about four, 3.8, four mil of tread on all of them. And I only replaced them because one of them was cut to cord, and I really wanted to change to Michelin's. And I thought, oh, one tyre, and then replace all, all four, it just seems a bit wrong. But actually, you know what? I just I just knew I'd be so much happier with these bitches and I absolutely am. So if you're thinking about changing and you're thinking, mm, are they gonna be worth the money? I can say now, yes, they were absolutely worth the money. Whether or not you're gonna notice a difference that I have of how much more quiet they are, more comfortable they are, and more grippy they are to give you that confidence, that's another matter entirely. They might be different for your car, but if you're driving a Cayman, I'm pretty safe to say that, yeah, you're gonna notice the difference. It's well worth the money. So I had the receipt here from Will Game, which is where I got the tires fitted. And uh, yes, so Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, uh, they're the N rating, which are Porsche rating tires. Uh, they were, well, a couple of things, pretty much 250 pounds each. 250 plus fitting, uh, each, I had all four tyres done. They got rid of the tyres, uh, wheel balancing, and the, yeah, they get rid of the tyres, and it comes to £1,050, including VAT. Now, that might sound a bit crazy, but actually, £250 a tyre isn't a huge amount of money. Look at a uh, large SUV, and they'll be 250 nearly to 300 they'll they're big heavy cars they go through tires and um, they're going to be expensive but yeah on this car you know it's a bit lighter you might think actually well it's quite expensive but the pivotal point is the michelins are so good um in this video i've been mentioning about how good they are but yeah they just have this this sense that you could just almost not unbeatable you know obviously you've got to drive sensibly but they just give you so much confidence and that is probably the renowning factor that I found when changing from Pirelli to Michelin's in my case. They've just been so much more confident that allow me to feel that I can do more with the car. And I don't feel nervous on kind of damp roads. Obviously when it's wet they're not they're still slide a bit but and when they're cold. But yeah they're just brilliant. But you know what? I think that's time to end the video. So let's go. So that's been it. I hope you've all enjoyed this video on why I purchased these tyres and whether they were worth it or not. Comment below whether you would spend the cat's kind of money on tyres. If you're contemplating it, drop a note in the comments below and let me know any questions and I'm happy to help you out. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please, please, please like the video so others can find it and ask questions as well. But for now, I'll see you soon.